Welcome back to Trauma Team! Boy, remember when we used to do surgeries and stuff? We are doctors! Dum 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 lies! Not, not today! We are forensic scientists again! Hopefully we'll be into a nice long stint of, right uh, there. surgeries it's, it's, after it's that. right there! I, I right know! There. We, we, we got plenty of surgeries, but we gotta get through this first. This is behind the lies. Alright, who's lying? And who's a tiger? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. Bear with me, please. <laughs> oh, you must have found that from Joke Book. You're such a cheetah. Great. She's at it again. Oh, uh, that little girl again. I love fluffs of fire in the sky. I think it's a butterfly. On fire. Hey, kitty girl, what are you doing? No <laughs> Good, Chloe? get out. Who are you talking about? Chloe's the kitty you helped. Now she comes over to play. Oh, it wasn't even her cat. Hear it. In any case, you're not allowed here. Unless she's talking about her cat comes hey, over Miss, to play with uh, what's Naomi. Your name? Me? Oh, I'm Naomi. Naomi Kimishima. Naomi? Naomi? Okay. D Hi, Naomi. I'm Alyssa. <laughs> get out! I live just on the other side of the garden here. Over the garden wall, you might say. Oh, that's interesting. Looking up privacy yeah, fences so on Amazon. Shock collars. I, I mean, uh, shock fences, not collars. <laughs> Cameras, uh, kennels can. for uh, German shepherds. That's why I need Release you the too. hounds. Oh, and who's this little He is princess? tall! Am I intruding? Chief. Hello, ah, Mr. you're too close. I'm Alyssa. You're a head above me. Like, he has like two <laughs> inches in front of her. <laughs> yeah! I'm David. And he's like, oh, jeez, oh, sorry, Excuse I'm just in, into your coat right now. <laughs> accidentally embeds her face into his chest. <laughs> oh, okay. Unless they're really now pushing that perspective. Do, right? But even yeah. then, they're not doing it right. It bye -bye well, now. even then, wouldn't that make him bigger? Yeah. Like this man's John Henry. You know she doesn't have any security clearance, right? Oh, no, she's our top agent. Now, now. You think I'm that uptight? Yes, I do. It's not like we're using diamonds to decorate the garden. Make a note of it. Use diamonds to decorate the garden. Anyway, you're here to talk about Cancel work, security correct? cameras. <laughs> More diamonds. Yes, uh, a few hours ago, a body was found in Oxford. Oh, no. The huh. FBI is requesting that we send you to like investigate. Like the university or... Me? Just is there the some area. No, it's a, it, it's a Ford that had an ox in it. It's our job to determine that. Gotcha. What do you say? Weird. This is my duty, isn't it? I'm on it. It's like, yeah, whatever. No one else is going to do it, I guess. I mean, there's a whole bunch of forensic operators, but, you know, just six of us and one of me, so whatever. <laughs> what if it was unfortunate that she was the only forensic husband. investigator in this entire society? The I, I, I'd be bitter, too. <laughs> When they arrived, uh, she was on the uh, floor with the uh, chest. Phone I got call. a phone call. Yeah, phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Phone, phone call. call. Phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Death call. Death call. That one seems sinister. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That sounds nice. Oh. Look how sinister that is. Well, uh, this is a pretty dark case. Bring well, it. It's gonna take I a lot of twists. Bring it. And I can't wait to see your Niskeldamus just explode trying to figure it out. <laughs> my brain's gonna explode. Gray matter right. all over my game. Let's discover how this. Not to mention me or your couch or the screen. I mean, I can't see if your brain's all over the fucking <laughs> monitor. <laughs> Dude, can you just clear your brain out of the way? Okay. Aww. Alma Parker, older woman, found dead at home in the mountains. Husband reported to police that he was responsible. Wait, what? Oh no! On arrival, they found her body stabbed in the chest. Ugh. The husband was in a wheelchair holding a bloody knife. Joseph's account is that they had a fight that escalated. A man in a wheelchair. Seems pretty case closed then. Yep, open and shut. That's what he says happened. Find out what you can about the murder. I'll check the body. Right, please get started. All right, let's go. The dead tell no tales. 
And if they do, nobody listens. They won't stop calling me. Well, I have, I'm all ears now, so let's listen unto the truth of the death of this old lady. Well, this is already gonna make me sad. I mean, look at her. She looks like a nice lady. Not anymore, she's dead, but... Well, I mean, yeah, but I, mean, I, th I think she's in a better condition than uh, the, the last body was. Mm, we'll see about that. I All mean, right. yes, we had to reconstruct an entire face, but with this one, looks like just a cut and dry. St <laughs> that's her. That's her husband. He claims that he did it, and uh, that's that's her. She's she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, he's just trying to look thirty years younger. <laughs> you can see it. They're in their seventies. That's pretty. That's rough. They got to do a lot of wrinkles. It's 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 hard yeah. to do for this art style. Even though he looks like on the rough side of 60. No, I just meant the beanie, man. I mean, he's rocking it. I bet if he took it off, he'd look way older. Yes, definitely. All right, let's go visit the car. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. All right, let's check the corpse. Hello, corpse. All right, there are, uh... Is there anything in particular we're looking for? That's, uh, ah. I got two particular things here, like uh, the stigmata here. What the hell? I was about is? to say, yeah, she get crucified. Ugh. I've never seen a bruise like this. Is it something congenital? Who knows? And we got this one over here too. This is internal bleeding. It might have been caused by something pressing against the palm. Hmm. Pushing something like, like it would stabbing down and pushing through. Was she struggling against the murderer, or is there a? Can't really make a whole lot of uh, assumptions or conclusions off of that. Hmm. More evidence is needed. We're still in the early phase. Got this here. Hmm. Nice this screwdriver stab wound. <laughs> they keep using the screwdriver. They don't repeat themselves. Oh, okay. So that must be like a. There's a hmm. with a similar shape. A branding a iron? Yeah. Nah, I don't think it was that, because if we turn her around, remember she was stabbed in the chest. Oh X marks the spot. Hmm. This must be the fatal stab wound. It must be. It has an odd shape. So it went all the, the way through? Oh yes. Oh. I believe the, the, it, it's 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 cross shaped, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like the PlayStation controller button. Right. Exactly. The, the cross button. Like so if I press X enough times, she'll wake up! That weapon now, what are you doing to my wife? Stop! No! I'm pressing X to doubt that. <laughs> Jeez. Like Alright. Is there anything... Oh, it... oh yeah, what? Big old wound on the side of the head. That's that's interesting. What's the Star shaped? It's... Star shaped? What can wounds tell us? Well, were they trying to cut off the circulation to her head using her headband or something? W wounds tell us the shape of the weapon. Yeah. Did she get killed by a garden accessory, or...? Yes. We can figure out the shape of the weapon that inflicted them. We're still very early. Still a star Now's not the time to be jumped to conclusions yet. Yeah, we're still what gathering information, remember. That? I've got her all figured out. Ugh, so let me tell you what happened. I don't think you got anything, Leighton. I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of the corpse. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see anything else while scrolling up and down the body. And she said we're done, so now let's check her effects. Really, it's just the blood on the sleeve here. Blood stains on the left sleeve. Was there a wound on the corpse's arm? Was there? There wasn't. Which means that's somebody else's blood. Uh oh. Could be the murderer's blood. Probably gonna have to send Isn't that to Little Man Syndrome. Murder. Indeed. We got the blood on the chest, of course. But that's nothing. Un that's not unusual. But what is unusual? Yeah, is right this. there. What's this? Is, is it, it hers? Hair? The murderer's? That's bizarre. Because. Oh, it's black. They have white hair. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. The victim and the suspect reportedly both have white hair. The game's afoot! I, send this <laughs> I think we got everything. <laughs> yes, book up. Wait, wait, wait. We're not, not done. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Wait. Get back here. I would actually love it if we accidentally got the right person. It's like, Dr. Kimishima, how the hell did you do that? I was like, hmm. You know, luck and all that. Yeah, great deal right. of force. I think we're done now. 
Time to head back to the Arfis. Boop. Sorry, I shouldn't boop the dead clothing. Don't boop the dead. Ha show, show respect, please. Will do, will do. Boop. Time to begin sorting through the information that we've uncovered so Definitely far. Definitely give that blood to to be analyzed. Yes, I gotta see who's that. Dr. Kimishima, do you need an analysis? No, I just want you to look at it. Of course I need an analysis, dude! Does it look cute on me? Do you think I look good on that shirt? Come on, Yuri. Okay. Um, are these bloodstains? It's Kool-Aid, you idiot! Of yeah, course they're bloodstains! Hold on, let me taste. That's <laughs> odd. Gullible little man. No shit! What do you mean? Well, the results say that only the H-type antigen was detected in this blood. <laughs> that makes this blood type O. <gasps> the victim A rare murderer! Blood. What about her husband? He's a suspect. He has type O. Oh. Does this mark him as the culprit after all? Oh, the husband did it. There you go. Mm, let's not start jumping to conclusions. First, let's check to see if the husband you know, is injured. If this blood came I've always from been him, curious. Be in your in your cop shows, you always see, you know, people have an MO. People are immediately caught. After some evidence, they eventually get caught. How many cases in the actual justice system are as simple as open and shut cases? Most of them in the real world? Yeah. These stab wounds are different sizes, but they have the same shape. Correct. We can deduce that these wounds are connected by... They're connected by what? Uh, the fact that there are, are the two... We <laughs> the weapon penetrated the body. <laughs> yes, just big it old did, pierces. it did. <laughs> yep, yes. straight through. These two wounds were caused by the same strike. I'm, I know the, the, the answer wrong. whenever it comes up. I just look case, looking the at the alternate answers to I see know. how crazy her logic is. Because I gotta find something. All right, so wounds in the front and back are from the a weapon attack. The uh, through the chest. Through the chest. Yeah, because it's Indeed. bigger in front and smaller in back. Indeedy do. So what was it like a drill or something? Well, we don't have the murder weapon. We don't know yet. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Strike. It would have to be twenty centimeters or longer. That's a long weapon. This isn't enough to identify a weapon, but it does get us one step closer. Indeed. Ooh, it's a questionable knife. Right, now this weird black hair. Yeah, whose hair is this? Could you analyze this hair? Yes, of course. It's Kimishima, my hair. This isn't human hair. What? It seems to be from some sort of animal. Uh, did the victims An have animal? Any tame well, that's creatures? unusual. You know, they're called pets. And no, they weren't Are we dealing with a doggo murderer? Is, is Koromaru from the Persona so series attacking people? Oh, he has white hair, too. Hair. Never mind. I can see cuticles, so this isn't synthetic hair or a fiber. Hmm, all right. Can it's, you it's real hair. Animal it's from? Raccoon, maybe? No, that's badger? that's beyond my expertise. Oh, but I do see badger, something badger, odd about badger, it. Badger, Go on. Well, the hair has a Boop. tip. Boop. But the other end doesn't have a root. There's no root. No root. That means... Oh. What's that mean? So, no root. Means it was cut. Yeah, it was cut. So the hair had been It was grown cut. from a plant. <laughs> Ever have your hair plants? Oh, yeah. Right. That's not what hair implants mean! Yeah, it's a hairy plant. Why would something like this be on the corpse? Giving the dog an old trim, and then, uh... uh. All right, murder weapon length. Little guy, can we determine the shape of this weapon? I think so, yes. I'll need some information, though. What can you tell me? You know, if How this was Ace Attorney, well, I almost least... guarantee that somebody would get killed with a tuning fork. Probably, yeah. Uh, it's probably over 20. Yep. I mean, I'd say over 10 was correct, too, but I think 20 would be better. It's well, also what? They mentioned 20. Oh, it's cross uh, shape. Yeah, it's cross shape. A cross shape. Does that help? Yes, thank you. So over 20 well, centimeters, cross-shaped. Uh... I see. This isn't a cutting tool, like a knife. That's a brand and iron! It's like a, it's like a spear. A spear. A hmm. Like a Who the hell's got spears so in their home? Stabbing weapon. I mean, probably the most deadly mm. weapon I have in my yeah, house is a hockey like stick. This. Right. This isn't your usual murder weapon. Ooh. This isn't like some sort of like household accident or whatever. This seems almost premeditated. Premeditated killing of grandma. That's extremely sad. So, murder weapon and shape here. Something's not right. What do you think, little guy? You mean the weapon in the shape of the wound, right? That knife isn't long enough to have done that. 
and it's nowhere close to the right shape. I hope we don't go to their home Something else has to and they have like a suit of armor as a decoration and she accidentally confusing. fell on it. This isn't Phoenix Wright. This Damn, is, this you, is trauma team. You actually caught me. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, what's this mean? Oh. Uh, means he's a lion fuck. Yeah, he's lying. He's a lion fuck. He's actually. And that's solid. Early, this early on, we know he is a liar. Lie, lie, lie. Wait, liar, wait, wait, liar. Wait, he's innocent then. Yeah. Neat. Or is he? In any case, we know for sure that the oh, that I don't know. Is he? I mean, I don't know. I mean, we got rock solid evidence that he's, he's innocent. All he we, I mean, all we know is he said, I, st I stabbed my wife. And we're saying, uh, it's not entirely true. Mm, yeah, he's covering up the truth. What's he covering up and why and how? His dog picked a up a spear and stabbed his wife. Of course. Uh, yeah. Elementary. Of course. <laughs> we'll have to find out what it is. <laughs> Little guy just raises both eyebrows. Uh, question. Um, yeah, I, uh, do you take criticism? <laughs> no, move on. All right, we're done here. <laughs> All right, we head because we've got. Doctor Kimishima, we're done interrogating Joseph. We're gonna hear. We're gonna Jackson. hear the husband now. Okay. Mean the yeah, let's hear what he has to say. To and how murder. much of a liar, liar he is. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire, <laughs> burn in hell. <laughs> you can just see Kimishima just lighting her lighter. It's like you don't want to be literal pants on fire, do you, sir? Send you the data. You can examine it whenever you want. All right. Yes, I'll do that. Thank you. Let's get that Joseph's testimony. account has been added to the recorder, and injuries is there too. Let's do it. Wait, his injuries or something else? Well, yeah. Talk, I mean, uh, did you did you hurt yourself? Oh, because there's true, blood true, true. on there. What happened? Let's hear it. I've already told you people. It was a domestic dispute. Uh -huh. I was angry at my wife, and I stabbed her. <laughs> That's all there is to it. We've been there, right, folks? So what if I'm in a wheelchair? Doesn't mean I can't stab someone. True. She was standing right in front of me, so I just shanked her right there. <laughs> right, fellas? <laughs> right, you know. Police right after. You know what happened after that. But what about my hand? I injured it, that's all. How I injured it has nothing to do with this. Oh, yeah? See, the victim's husband does have an injury on his hand. Hmm. Well, that explains how the blood got on the sleeve. This will prove that the blood stains came from the husband. Well, we still have to test it to double, triple check. That's true. So if we take Joseph in, Joseph's injury and the typo blood, mm, true. we These can of connect that. That is indeed his blood. blood. The blood on the victim's sleeve Like for serious, like blood. rock solid that that is his blood. Like for really. Joseph has a wound on his right hand and he himself has typo blood. There's little doubt that the blood stains on the sleeve were left by him. Ta -da! I, I don't like to accept this because of the phone call. So I obviously there's that something more to this. Of course him. there is. Yeah, there's not enough to we'll prove that. Nah. To We're just getting started, way. man. Getting started. All right, next up, uh, do, do, do. Is that it? Out of here. I, I think that's it. Let's this go to the murder scene. Bizarre case. There's so much about it that's hard to believe. I don't know. think the husband did it, Dr. Kimishima? Nah. Who knows? Nah. Anyway, let's put the facts we Couldn't know so far it. in order. The reason why it's I mean, doubtful that the victim's husband... In a real relationship, because... if you have a spat with your significant other, it, it happens. So the fact that it doesn't fit is that he hid the real murder weapon. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, he ain't shanked Big old sad face there. ...could not have caused the wounds she died of. There are other reasons to doubt him, too, no matter what weapon he used. Pushing it all the way through a human body would require a lot of strength. And he's old as fuck. I never skip <laughs> arm day, you don't know that! <laughs> that's all I got! I can't use my legs anymore! He can't stand! Yeah, he can't do it. His wife! So that's why he killed her. Aww, <laughs> oh, that's even sadder! And cannot stand yeah, you just wake up strength. one day and just go, I can't stand you! Be able to uh, what? Joseph? Like ah. Yeah, that's, you know. Say hey though, Joe! Where are you going with that? Spear in your hand. I hate Mondays. <laughs> he can't stand up at all. Yes. The shape of the weapon and the details... Oh, oh he can't. He just won't. It unlikely that he's the murderer. Just refuses. Doctor said I can't walk. Can't walk. Still, he I was able to walk out of the walking. hospital, but Tired they said I can't walk. Tired of walking. It's all, it's all dumb. It's all the government. <laughs> I don't know what he means. He just keeps saying it's the government. I, I... This is why he doesn't skip arm day, because he has to wheel himself you have everywhere. A lot of experience with lying, Mr. Investigator? Yes. Hey, have we agreed I lied. Up the past, didn't we? I forgot he was in second opinion. 
I'm sorry, what? But he was in second he opinion. Himself the criminal. As Derek? Little guy. All I can think of is that Where? The first case. Hold on, thinking. Either he that, he was uh he was there with her. Bigger lie. That doesn't change what oh. I need to do at all. Contact HQ Well, that's a fun callback. I, I just happened to check the wiki and go. The really? I'm going to the crime With scene. actual water Tell in my mouth. Too. Insanity. I didn't drink anything, but there was water in my mouth. I just... Pfft, what the fuck? It was a weird morning, I tell you what. Alright, Mountain House, let's go. Go to the scene! Off of the crime! See it in a crime! Off of we go! Look where it happened! That's where she died! Now she is dead! Look at the fireplace! There are traces of something having been burned in this fireplace. Oh, did he burn the murder weapon? I wonder if there's How do you burn a murder weapon? Well, depending on how it was made, I always oh, had. Got something. What is this? Oh. Well, as I was. What is that indeed? As I was saying, I always thought it would be interesting to have an Ace Attorney case where the murder weapon was an icicle that melted. Is this fur? What? What is this doing here? <laughs> my puppy! No! My, my puppy! Toto! Oh! Oh! Okay. I think that's it there. Yeah, uh... What? There's huh. an inscription on this clock. To my loving father and mother from Abby. <gasps> uh oh! Mm. Uh oh! Look familiar? Yikes! Uh, there's a bruise on the corpse's head. That would be bruise on the corpse's head. Somebody deck grandma with a clock? Bong. Right. Yeah, seriously. It's what time is it? Time for head drama. Bang. Now it's getting more Phoenix right. Yeah. Killing someone with a clock. The murderer could have struck the victim with this <laughs> I thought it was the thinker! I think the time was 3 a.m. <laughs> I need to take this back and carefully investigate it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're investigating the clock. Is there anything else? Yep. Yeah, I see that down there. Nope. I see that down there. This. It's a shard of glass. What could that be from? Hmm. Supposedly, only Joseph and the responding police officer were at the murder scene. If that's the case, then... The police are incompetent. There are no other pieces around. Yeah, it's just that one piece. Yes, there were no other shards of glass. They were trying to contact the dead. That's the remnants of the crystal ball. Wishes to contaminate the crime scene. I'm beginning to wonder if someone there had cleaned up the other shards of glass. Hmm. Gets around for cleaning up the murder scene, glasses. that Joseph. We might learn something about it. Interesting. All right, done here. Why are these pliers just sitting here? They're chopsticks. Oh, they are? They are. Why would they be by a plate? I d Look. Do you, eat, do you eat soup with pliers? Look, it looked like pliers. It was a murder scene. What do you want from me? Chopsticks! They, well, I'm this. Look at this piece of glass! Hey, little guy. <laughs> Your turn. Yes, what is it? Look at this photograph. <laughs> Look at this piece of glass! <laughs> it fits so well. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh! So there's one there was a wine glass. inside of this piece of curved glass. Oh, well, that, means that makes the sense. Comes from and if you're slow, it's from a wine glass. A chandelier. Right. I drank all my wine from a chandelier. I'm <laughs> 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 gonna drink from the chandelier. From the chandelier. <laughs> and then it comes crashing out. <laughs> My seven glasses of wine! Oh, I gotta clean all this up now. Oh, jeez, yeah. He okay. stands up from his wheelchair. Grandpa, you're standing! What? Alright, animal fur and this burned hair. These two hairs Pretty ob. Be the same. Yeah, the, is that what somebody dressed up as a dog when they murdered Grandma? Or... Yikes. Well, you know how it is. If that's the case. Then Do the I? From the fur was on the you know, dress up as my fur baby and then just go in and, Oh, Grandma, I missed you, stab! Well, I mean... When in Rome. <laughs> so, what is this little piece of paper here? Mysterious it's, it's ashes. Mysterious ashes. It's just something. Can it's he a, identify some that? Some kind or? of paper. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, what is this? Nothing. Nope. Okay. What we can do is we can take the clock and uh, actually, there's more up here. 
for the yeah. oh, star shaped bruise. The decoration on the clock. Connect the them together. But this could That's how we do it here. I need to know exactly how this wound would have affected her. May have affected her. Well, if it made an imprint in the side of her head, Doctor, I'm not gonna say one plus one equals two to you, but uh yeah. Oh really? Can you check it one plus one equals two? Bother you for a moment? Son of a bitch! <laughs> Well, the wound on the victim's head was caused by I mean, you got to test it, otherwise you'll get mauled in court. It's like, oh, really? No, this could have come from anything then. You didn't test it? Hmm, you didn't test it? Hmm, and you get thrown out. They walk free. Okay, I get it. I'll start looking into it right away. I mean, he would walk free because he didn't he do it. So, I mean, <sighs> right, I got that next up. Uh, do, do do. We haven't figured out the hand yet, right? I think right? we're done here. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, hello. Uh, is it good news? No. no. Bad. Another corpse has been found. Uh oh. Ooh. Give me a break. I'm already in the of another, investigating a another case corpse. I wonder who it could be. Well, the thing is, it might be related to the Alma Parker case. What do you mean? A female corpse was discovered in a warehouse at the harbor. The victim is identified as Abigail Parker. She's Alma Parker's daughter. Oh no. What? Yes. It's not just Alma now. Her daughter's been murdered as well. Jesus! Is there any connection between the two cases? We don't know yet, but considering the timing, I believe there's a good chance that they're related. Yikes! Well, Send bring her over and we'll give her once over to see if there's anything that connects her to this case. I was going to come over and tell you about the Ooh. clock anyway. Ooh, this thing's, it, it just took a sharply dark Ooh. turn. All the information that we've confirmed onto the computer too. Am a fan indeed I am. Huh. Wow. A man who comes to visit bringing a dead body as a present. A man after my own heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this kind of thing tends to upset people, you know. <laughs> just reminds me. Hey, come on. This is my job. <laughs> There's a Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode. <laughs> I'll have a room ready. <laughs> Main guy's yes, macking on the new mortician. <laughs> he just goes, act like a corpse for me. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Anyway, let's, let's right. yeah, let's find let's a new dead check person. the other corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A two-day-old corpse this two time around. Two days old. Yep. She's been dead. That's that's bad. It is bad. That was a hidden corpse. The daughter of Alma Parker, the first victim, Abigail Parker. Oh. Oh, oh no. is this a double stabbing? Oh no! Getting a call. Oh no! I do believe they are connected, Niskel. I do believe they are. Ooh. These were her last words. I'm not making any promises, but I've heard your words. All right, let's see if we can make any sense of them. Oh, right. good, you can switch between the two corpses. Let's check Abby here. Uh... <laughs> huh? Now! Huh? Oh. 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 oh! This is a cut. It seems That's like a little strange. I guess they are connected after all! Connected like a spear through two humans. I feel like I've seen a similar wound. So no. Well, you really got a hard time thinking, don't you, Naomi? Hey, look, she thought the murder weapon was a vase or something. And of course. And yeah. A cross-shaped scar the in the this wound, the in the chest, wound. in the ouch, blood, hurt, pain, bleeding, ow, death. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> Are you trying to explain this to a, a third grader or something like that? Just using the this efficient is, words here. Stabby ouchie ouch. has an odd shape. I've seen this somewhere before. Hmm. I wonder where. Alright, that's all, that's all we got, because there's no bruising on the other palm. Is there anything on her head? No. Okay. Nothing on her head. It didn't pierce her. So, yeah. Nothing else we can get from here. Exit! Hold on, I want to zoom into this negative space. Mm. Mm. I wonder what I can find over here! Boop, boop, boop. All right, now the yeah, effects. Check the clothing. All, All right. right, let's take a look. First the phone. Oh, phone's broken. Oh, this is the cell phone that Abigail was carrying. How old is this thing? It's 2050. I mean, it this one has on. buttons? Is it broken? Does she pay like 10 bucks a month for this? Is that really where, when this takes place? It's 2050? In the future. But in, in uh, the this future, is what okay. cell phones looked like at the time. Should be sent in for <laughs> Ten, well, you know. Some now they're all just attention. black bars of soap. <laughs> you, you know how uh, we, we get 20 XDX sometimes? Yeah, I, mean, I think yeah. it's just... We have to cross shape wound again. Okay, and, uh, so the same murderer. Dun 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 dun. Abigail's yeah, not liking this. I've seen this black hair before. It's 
Oh, did Alma kill her daughter? It's on Alma's clothes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's right. It was animal fur. Or, you know, a wig. All right, done with that. Back to the office. A lot of this case is just straight up deduction. We don't, we only go to the murder scene like twice. Everything else is done from the office. Okay. A lot of putting things together and then realizing the truth, because she's so good at her job. I'm glad. All right, what do we got? So let's see. We'll I, go with, um... I just remember when we did the first case, it was just like, back to the murder case. Let's go ahead and try to figure this out. But that's okay. We were getting used to it. Uh, probably the hair again, right? Can yeah. we compare the... Right. Black bruise to this. We can connect those. These murders are too similar for us to dismiss the possibility... Yeah, it's the related. exact shape. The wound huh. on Alma's hand wasn't caused by external trauma. While Abigail's wound was obviously made using a sharp tool, at first glance, these may seem to be completely unrelated. However, if we consider any similarities hmm. or connections between the two corpses, these wounds may indicate some hidden link that we haven't discovered yet. Mm hmm The murder weapon. They are connected, but we don't know exactly how yet. Right. And we can't just make baseless assumptions yet. But that's my favorite part! Oh, it's worth- uh, we're, we're, we're doing seriously! When you walk seriously. up to random people and just go, You did it, didn't you? Familiar hair with, uh, the just mysterious fur. These two hairs are yep. identical. Exact so same hair. hair from the fur so did somebody dress up as somebody they knew and tried to dispose of the evidence? Of the two victims. Mm -hmm. From this, we can deduce that- Interesting! The killer wore the fur in an animals in the evidence room. They were killed by a monster. Oh, no, 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 monster! This <laughs> is trauma team, not monster hunter. No, <laughs> oh, no. Wearing or using the fur My least favorite not, movie is Monster Thing because it's so many monsters. You used to be monsters. What else we got? Oh, uh, what else we got indeed? Uh, I'm still looking for the bean bruise and take Abigail's wound and give it to little guy. Yeah. From this wound? See if it's the same or not. Can you find the metal shavings from the pipe that was pierced through both stab of these women? Her chest is the same shape as Alma stab wounds. Yeah, my eyes can tell me that. Is that so? My hunch was right. This proves. <gasps> this proves the murder, murder weapon, weapon is, is the same. same. Yes. Both murders were committed using the same weapon. Boop. So were they murdered by the same person? It's likely, but there's no conclusive evidence of that just yet. We're just making a lot of connections, but nothing to connect exactly them yet. Nothing you know? concrete, except for the two things that we already know that are concrete. Where? It's... So, the difference between their, their, uh... That their would be wounds. the direction. That would be the depth of the wound. Or depth, excuse yes. me. The depths are the, the other D1. The depths of their deaths aren't Couldn't the same. Just be coincidence? They the depths machine, of their deaths uh, I can't hinge that solely on either. Still, all the dead. I don't know. I was trying, trying, trying to make a body and out her back. You got it. Rhyming scheme. You're okay. I was trying to make a rhyming scheme and it didn't work. I couldn't think of another D word that thumbs up rhymed with These death and death. Round of applause. I see. Is that all right, Mr. Smart Guy, you come up with a tongue twister. In any case, it's dangerous Completely original, having to do with trauma team. Let's continue. Having to do with trauma team? Or, uh, maybe on this case, then. Hmm. So, uh, this doctor puts, like, this, uh, electric zapper on a door. Mm -hmm. So that when you put your key in, you get, you get a zap. So it's, uh, Dr. Proctor's Lockter Shockter. Not just words together, not really a tongue twister, but anyway! It's still good! Look it's, at this phone! It's <laughs> Look at this phone! Look at this phone! Every time I do, I'm alone! Alright, so he's gonna look at that. When you give it back, I moan! So, same murder weapon, and, uh, the fur coincidence. Indeed, these facts to connect them even together. further together. Alma even further. Alma, the two corpses share one common thing. What do they share to, that's, that's calm and Okay, together. I want to see the extra one. They're ages! They're ages! <laughs> I mean, she, I, I can't tell. It's the weapon that yeah, killed Yeah, it's the weapon that killed them. Not the scene yes. of the murder, because she was killed in the, the warehouse. Same yeah, yeah, yeah. Used for both murders. Another similar you know, I can actually see somebody playing this blind, is. like I am, and actually looking through all of these decisions, 
and having to X them out one at a time. Hmm, it could be the symbols drawn on the ah. forehead, or it could be the black animal here on yeah, the shoulder, it, it of course. Yeah, it could definitely be. The pollen on the sleeves? What are you talking about? So same killer is what we can get from yes. that. Right. Both of them have that's, the same type that's of That's fact, animal. but who it is, we don't know. There's a very high possibility that these crimes were committed by the same person. The same person. All now, right, uh, now we're done. Yeah, back to the scene Oop. of the crime. You got new testimony. Ah, new testimony. Good. Whose testimony is it this time? Let's see. First, we have the person who found Abigail's corpse. Right, right. He owns a restaurant, but he seems to be an acquaintance of the victim. Oh, uh, another suspect, maybe? Really? How did they know each other? Well, it seems the victim was an occasional customer at the restaurant. Oh. According to the testimony, the victim had visited the restaurant not long ago. I see. This may be able to help us determine the victim's situation before she... The was restaurant owner did it. We should confirm when he last saw the victim as well. All right, so we got the cook's account. Yes, there's another bit of testimony that And we also addressed. asked the father about this, which oh. was a mis That was a mistake. Go on. Does he know? Yeah, it, yeah. Begun confessing to his daughter's murder oh, well. what the hell? What? When the questioner asked him about Abigail's corpse, he started with the whole I did it spiel again. Ah, damn it. Why did you fools tell him about Abigail? We should have, we, like, we shouldn't have opened with that. We should have, like, let on. It's like, so what did you and your daughter go last night? I thought you guys were together. Huh. But she's well, dead. Do I think about that? Oh, I did. Really well, it'd be hard for him to say that now. So now, anything he tells us is going to be fucking useless. I mean, unless we can find something different in his testimony. I'll listen to his testimony, too. Send the voice data over. I mean, there's nothing we can glean from it. Check it. Ask him about about his daughter. What do you think about that, huh? What? Abigail was. Is that true? Uh huh. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, oh yeah, I did that too. Way to fuck it up, Andrew. God damn it. Uh, sandbag too many of my investigations. So whatever he says, we can just write it off. He, he's he is of no help to anybody all right, anymore. All right. But who could be of help? Is Victor Padrini. He's the guy who found the body. What'd you see? Mm, well, when I found the body, I was up that morning fishing for the restaurant's chef's catch special. Oh, yeah, if you go oh, out that's there, they're quite easy to catch. The uh, market's fish aren't, aren't good enough. No, for the fish that's to be quality. at their freshest, good they, guy. they have to be killed right when they're caught. Well, I was shocked. I never imagined I'd pull up a corpse. And even worse, it was Miss Abby Parker. That's right. I've known the Parkers for years. She'd come to the restaurant with her parents every now and again. Heavens, no. They, they never fought. They seemed very happy. A wonderful family. Uh. The last time Miss Abby came was three days ago. No, her parents weren't with her at Three days! Uh. He says that Abigail was at his restaurant three days ago. So that's another fact we can get from that. So yeah. Abigail was still alive at that time. Interesting. There were happy family three days ago, and then everything went to shit. Well, we can take Abigail's trail and mix that with the two-day-old corpse. Hmm. We can trace Abigail's and we can trace her whereabouts how we got to that point. Exactly. Her corpse was found about two days since her death. The man who found her body last saw her three days ago. That means that when the chef saw her... Wait. It was hours before her death. Oh my! So, could we get a new set of suspects from this? It was not long it's, before. It's the chef. Killed. Book him. There's a yeah, because he found her corpse. Killed soon after she left his restaurant. In a, it would be in like an old abandoned place. Is that what I'm hearing? I think we need to uh, testimony him again. Right. Let's chit chat, man. Oh, hey, Dr. look at that. Shima, could I bother you for a moment? Uh, if I said no, would you leave me alone? Uh, no. No. I definitely think you should hear this. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Is the plot about to thicken some more? All right, hurry up. <laughs> Thank you. Well, HQ has made a move. No. Uh, no. The FBI's arrested a suspect for Abigail's murder. Why? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, why? Who knows? Maybe they're jumping the gun. I don't know what the higher ups are thinking. That's what happens when you don't let me cook, guys. His name is Sean Bowen. He was Sean Abigail's Bowen. She worked. Where she worked. Where she worked. Was also taken in for interrogation. Their 
We're both at HQ now. <sighs> are, are these just red herrings they're tossing us? The killer. It seems that this was found at the scene where Abigail had been murdered. What's this? Oh ho! It's an expensive lighter made in France. It's a custom order with his name engraved on it. But that's so easy to just oh, plant oh. there. Well, there's no mistaking that. That is so easy to just plant there. Well, at one phone call, just opened everything up sky high. Also showed Sean's picture of that chef. He confirmed that Sean was the man with Abigail at the restaurant the night she died. I see. Let me guess. Here's what the FBI thinks happened. All right, here's, what, here, here's what's wrong. Abigail was having an affair with her boss. The situation got complicated, so he killed her. Okay. Dr. Kimishima, that's exactly what HQ thinks happened. No. What about Obama's <laughs> murder then? Would he take the trouble it's to like, murder the It's like, okay, okay, yes, but no. So did he murder Alma too? Yeah, Honestly, we're, we're looking for the same guy, right? But they didn't think that far ahead because they jumped the gun because they don't let me cook. They'd rather believe this than think that Joseph committed either of the murders. I see. So Joseph is defending the man who killed his own daughter? Well, weird. You it, that There's still a lot that all. doesn't make sense mm. here. Um, we can't say for certain that this man, Bowen, is Yeah, I can't say it for sure. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us what Abigail was doing on that night as well. Can yeah. you get the interrogation recordings, little guy? I've already got them. I know my stuff. Good boy. Nice of you to stay on top of things. <laughs> Pat's Send monitor. Send me that ASAP. <laughs> hmm. huh. yeah, yes, I like that. Got it. I'll do that now. How ASAP is ASAP. Oh, like, like right now. Like we got All right, it. yeah! All right. Well, everything has just blown up wide open, haven't they? I love it. Oh, I love how excited you are, but you know what? I'm going to see you next week. Okay, okay that's fair. Thanks for watching. That's we'll fair. see you next time.